My name is Ralf Jacobs. I'm an experimental photographer from Eindhoven, the Netherlands, and this is what I do. I call myself an experimental photographer because I go beyond the bounds of traditional photography. I use and combine very old and very new techniques to create original art that uh, reflects kind of my, my, my view of the world and the wonder of the world, I feel. I started with experimental photography from my background in physics. I specialize in optics and in optics I found a lot of fundamental beauty and I want to capture this beauty and bring it out for the world to see. So the first project I want to talk about is light flux. Uh, light flux, I use a laser beam or actually three laser beams coupled into each other and I use glass objects to refract and reflect uh, the, the laser beam and it creates ghostly images. And I capture the ghosts with uh, analog photography that gives me the power to blow them up to cosmic dimensions. The beauty that I see in light flukes are uh, reminiscent of when I was young and I watched the NASA website of Hubble telescope images. Uh, images from space that show uh, like uh, nebula or quasars or star systems far away. And they were so ethereal and mesmerizing that I wanted to recreate them. The resulting light flux are very small and only exist for a very short period of time. With the photography I'm able to capture them and let them transcend their size. The harmonograph is a device from Victorian era and it's actually the first generative art drawing machine. And uh, the interesting part is it, that it's, it's very old but it uses the same kind of mechanics and kind of mathematics as are on the basis of my uh, laser harmonogram drawings. So the harmonograph uh, comes from the law of harmonics. The law of uh, like harmonics is a part of mathematics that relates to uh, like natural frequencies and how natural frequencies interact. And the funny thing that it's related to music, that you can hear these frequencies and these harmonics and also uh, like spatially from the drawings the harmonograph makes by its wobbling pendula. And the harmonograph works with rods and weights. I can play with the phase and the frequency of uh, those signals and they create line drawings with a pen on paper. The harmonograph helps liberate the the, the shapes from all the mathematics behind it. With laser cyanotype harmonograms, I use a photographic process called cyanotype. I make a piece of paper light sensitive and then illuminate it with the laser and uh, where the light hits the paper, it turns blue. The laser has um, mechanics inside that uh, are very much like the harmonograph, the old harmonograph. What I like about laser cyanotypes is that it's a very old process, cyanotype uh, combined with very new stuff, the laser. Um, but in the end, I still create drawings that, uh, like you don't have to uh, understand mathematics to look at harmonograms and say, see if they're pretty. When I superimpose harmonograms over uh, pictures I took, um, the harmonograms in, uh, drawn with a laser give a really unsettling alien vibe. I could say that it's an intimate reminder of everything that goes on beyond our perception of reality. I'm in a constant state of experimentation and I'm inspired by art and art history and also science and technology and I bring it together so you're invited to see what's next